Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionados, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we have the last video for bleeding and coagulation disorders, so let's get into this. Also, I have some important announcements to make. Steps of hemostasis are numerous. We have vasoconstriction, temporary plug, this is primary hemostasis. The coagulation cascade is the secondary hemostasis, and then you have fibrinolysis, and then regeneration and repair. These are the steps of primary hemostasis or the platelet plug formation and we have discussed them before. A problem with von Willebrand factor is called von Willebrand disease. A problem with the GP1B is called Bernard Soulier disease. A problem with the GP2B3A is called Glenzman thrombasthenia. Also, please remember that we have a class of medication that inhibits this receptor. It's called GP2B3A antagonist. We also have a group of medications that inhibit the formation or the expression of this receptor, and this is called the P2Y12 inhibitors, such as Clopidogrel, Prasugrel, Ticlopidine, Ticagrelor. Who named these things? These are the steps of the coagulation cascade. Remember that warfarin inhibits both, but mainly the extrinsic pathway. Heparin inhibits both, mainly the intrinsic pathway. Hemophilia A is problem with factor 8. Hemophilia B is factor 9. Hemophilia C is factor 11. Vitamin K deficiency will lead to problems with factor 2, 7, 9, and 10, protein C and protein S, and even protein Z. Liver disease, most of the coagulation factors will suffer because they come from the liver. This mind map will help you tremendously navigate through the coagulation or bleeding defects. You have vasoconstriction, primary hemostasis, secondary hemostasis, and fibrinolysis. Primary hemostasis, this is the platelet formation. And we have talked about the physiology, the pathology, and even the pharmacology. How do you measure primary hemostasis? You have the platelet count, bleeding time, and platelet agrigometry. For secondary hemostasis, you have the PT, PTT, and TT. For fibrinolysis, you have the FDP and the D-dimer. If you want to inhibit primary hemostasis, use a class of medication known as antiplatelets, and they have four subcategories, cyclooxygenase inhibitors, aspirin, P2Y12 inhibitors, clopidogrel, GP2B3A inhibitors, apsiximab, PDE3, which is phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitor, such as dipyridamol. To mess up with the secondary hemostasis, use a group of medications called anticoagulants. Again, four groups. Heparins, warfarin, direct thrombin inhibitors, such as ergetroban, and factor 10A inhibitors. Fibrinolysis. If you want to stimulate fibrinolysis, use fibrinolytics, TPA, streptokinase, alteplase, synectoplase, etc. If you want to inhibit fibrinolysis, use antifibrinolytics such as stranexamic acid and epsilon amino caproic acid. If you want to master bleeding and coagulation disorders, this table should be your friend. Here is the disease, and here you have plate count, bleeding time, PT, and PTT. You can also add D-dimer and the fibrin degradation products, and then you do each disease and what happens in each of them. You can do the same thing for medication. So instead of thrombocytopenia, you can just put aspirin. What's going to happen to plate count with aspirin? How about bleeding time, PT or PTT? You do the same with warfarin, heparin, etc. Also for pharmacology, you can do the same table. Here is heparin, warfarin, direct thrombin inhibitors, factor 10 inhibitors. You can also add aspirin, etc. For each one, you get a, an example of each class, and then the mechanism of action, the clinical indications or uses, side effects, contraindications, and drug-drug interactions. So bleeding and coagulation playlist is over. If you remember, after some of my videos at the end, you had question of the day or quiz time. All of these questions and answers are available for free on my website, medicosisperfectionalist.com. Also, I have other two products. I have the 119 PDFs. These are the slides that I use for my videos and they are organized in PDF forms. You can watch the video while scrolling through your PDFs. You can print them if you wish and they are also available on my website, heavily discounted for 48 hours. Also, I have 50 cases on bleeding and coagulation disorders with answers. These cases are really difficult. They are not for the faint-hearted. Also heavily discounted for the next 48 hours. But the questions and answers are absolutely free. Also, if you are interested, I have an antibiotics course, EPIC. In this course, we have discussed antibacterial medications, antivirals, antifungals, and even antiparasitic drugs. 
Also, I have a cardiac pharmacology course, which is magnificent. I've discussed antiarrhythmic drugs, antihypertensives, drugs for heart failure, drugs for ischemic heart disease, antihyperlipidemics, and even the diuretics. Moreover, I have an anti-cancer pharmacology course, and this includes the drug classes, the anti-metabolites, alkylating agents, plant alkaloids, antibiotics, which are anti-cancer antibiotics, hormonal therapy, targeted therapy, the ones that end in MAB, etc. And the survey is over, and here are the results. On that beautiful survey, there was a question. If you have to choose among microbiology, biochemistry, physiology, or rheumatology, which one would you like to see next? And the winner here is physiology. There was a very teeny tiny margin between physiology and rheumatology. So, in the next few weeks, you will see videos on physiology. Yes, and this includes cardiac physiology and neurophysiology, autonomic physiology, kidney physiology, GI physiology, etc. And we'll also continue our rheumatology playlist. We still have to talk about lupus, scleroderma, the vasculitides, etc. I just want to say thank you for everyone who answered the survey. And as promised, endocrinology playlist is coming in late 2020. And here is my request for you. Please help me reach 300,000 subscribers by the end of September 2020. And I'll give you a premium course for free. In the upcoming video, I have something coming for free for a limited number of students, so make sure to hit the bell next to the subscribe button in order to get notified when I release that epic video. I really love you people. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell to get notified, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to get my antibiotics course, my electrolytes course, my anti-cancer pharmacology course, my cardiac pharmacology course my 119 pdfs for this glorious magnanimous bleeding and coagulation playlist and much more don't forget to get your questions and answers they are free you can also get my biology notes for free i'll see you in the next video until then be safe stay happy and study hard this is medicosis perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense